conducted as a direct experience by the MIS coordinator himself. So technically, I'm the current MIS coordinator of our campus and based on different demands, different tasks being required as an IT, as an IT personnel. Because in what we call it IT, Imutanen, or what we call you do all the tasks related to IT. So that's the reason why it came up to this particular study. Okay, so technically stress affects everyone, regardless of gender, age, or occupation, or either of the economic status. Workplace being a dynamic and changing environment is considered to be one of the major sources of stress among employees. In the university, we are being mandated to perform the core, the core functions of the university, which, which are instructions, research, production, and probably conduct extension services. But technically, my study focused only on the occupational stress among employees in our particular campus. They serve a state university in our campus. According to Vanessa Barros of 2015, the stress is the state of body to respond in an accurate to a specific demand for change. Others may suffer physical stress, but others may suffer about mental stress due to the cognitive demands or the abilities that are being demanded by, by our superiors. And while others may suffer also about emotional stress due to personal and work relationships in the workplace. And sometimes, stress technically is something that employees need to adopt and respond. Okay. So next, occupational stress is viewed as either as a response or as a motivation that brings about positive or negative effects to employees. So, experts further stated that complete freedom from stress would mean that, so meaning, if you don't want to have stress, then technically, you're weak yeah, because you're dead, but you're parang patay ka na, parang na problema. So meaning, how employees stress will determine the impact of stress towards them and to the organization as well. The occupational stressors, technically these are the sources of stress that encounter in the workplace such as role conflict, overload, and activity. So these directed or employees personally may per technically they synthesize the university to have campus to occupational stress due to the numerous demands by the university. So many requirements in universities among professors. So the coping strategies are the employees' adaptive capabilities to deal with stress according to Dr. Lia Asses and Veronica Bixon. Some experts argue that coping strategies are the coping strategies to help employees in dealing up with stress. Several <coughs> researchers conducted about stress, stress management and organization, but still there is a limited study of stress management management program in the universities. Or a limited study on the coping strategies as possible intervention for health and wellness program and stress management program in the university. Therefore, the aim of this study is to assess the relationship of coping strategies to level of occupational stress among employees that will provide basis for health and wellness program in the university. It also pursued to assess the demographic profile of respondents based on the level of its occupational stress and the level of occupational stress or to the coping strategies the employees implemented or otherwise utilized in dealing with stress. So my studies on the theory of job demand control model presented by Robert Karasek in 1979. This model talks about the employees, the level of occupational stress among employees based on the job demands and the job control at work. The proposed model indicate the coping strategies employed by absolutely employees to manage their occupational stress regardless of the different occupational stressors that may likely contribute to the employee's job performance satisfaction, organization performance, and work-life satisfaction in the university. <coughs> so the methods that has been used in the study is a 
quantitative research, dis research data analysis and employ a descriptive correlational method research to assess and describe the different variables that was considered the study. So the variables being considered the study technically the dependent variable are the occupational stress, the level of occupational stress they employ encounter the university. And the dependent variable technically the <coughs> copy strategies being utilized by employees. So technically the study utilized it, is, it doesn't have a sampling method due to the reason that the limited number of respondents being involved in the study. So to skip this one. So it, the research instrument used was a standardized instrument which has been found significant in the study. So the study has been, the instrument was patterned from American Institute of Stress, <coughs> from various studies that really supports and the, the instrument, the limitation of the study is that the instrument was not computed for the test validity, test validity and reliability, but it has been found significant in the conduct of the study. All the items were measured using a five point micro scale, where one is, means is disagree, strongly disagree, and five is strongly disagree. So, descriptive statistics and correlation analysis and ANOVA were used using an IBM SPSS 22. So, let's talk about the results and discussion. So, in the relationship on the level of Respondents' coping strategies and occupational stress. The table presents the overall mean score of occupational stress of 2.88, which is interpreted as employees to be of moderate distress. And also, the coping strategies attained a score of 3.01, which is interpreted to be effective in dealing with employee stress. So, in its relationship, if the table shows about the direction of the relationship was quite inverse. Meaning, effective coping strategies may directly cor correspond to the level of occupational stress an employee may experience in the workplace. This was also supported by several, several studies mentioned earlier. <clears throat> so, among all coping strategies employees utilize in our university, these were the five significant predictors on the level of occupational stress. So, if we're going to see, take a look at the table itself, it shows that employing self-efficacy or one's own motivation as the primary coping strategy is identified to be, to be effective without using stress. And this also presented ideas to the university administrators for a sound stress management program that will be implemented by the university. So among all profile of the variables, the only variable that has been found significant which directly affects the level of occupational stress is, is talk about the length in service, which indicates and this implies that employees need to create a coping mechanism with stress. Those employees who are quite new to the university need to come up with a coping mechanism. While those employees are, the longer they are exposed to the university, to the politics of the university, they were able to create their own mechanism. So it was, it was the only variable that has been found significant in the study. And so these are also the, and, and this table technically presents about the coping strategies and the coping variables. So meaning, regardless among the coping variable, the respondents variable, coping strategies has been, talks about parashing personal perspective of the particular employee. So these are the conclusions. Employees experience different level of occupational stress in the university, regardless of their of the profile. Occupational stress is always present regardless of the profile variable of the respondents. Employees with limited job description and were given work beyond their scope of expertise contribute greatly to the level of stress. And occupational stress among employees is related with the coping strategies used by the employee. So wala siya ano. Possible the coping strategy that is, that's been utilized by another employee may be effective only to him, but to the other, it's quite not quite that effective. And these are the recommendations. The researchers recommend that university administrators should focus on faculty welfare by providing a health and wellness program to address occupational related stress. Also, senior employees are encouraged to conduct mentoring capacity training among junior and personal in order to listen 
the level of occupational stress. And lastly, other researchers may also explore other factors like occupational stressors or ways of coping, coping strategies of employees towards occupational stress, which are not part of this study. And that would be our thing and enjoy learning research. Please leave a positive comment, like, share and subscribe to this channel. More class support content will follow.